Well, thanks, Senator Capito. Um, in my state, like uh, Senator Capito's state, and I suspect all of our states, many students don't have access to uh, broadband. And uh, we've tried our best to solve that problem, fill in the gaps with hot spots and other creative ideas. But the fact is that many of our uh, students, and usually they come from low-income families, many uh, Hispanics, African Americans, they simply are falling farther and farther behind. And we've learned how to safely reopen our schools, and it's apt, it's imperative that we get our children back in schools as soon as we can safely do that, and we believe we can now uh, following CDC guidance. But what this feels like with this extortionate demand from, uh, from uh, Senate and House Democrats for all this money, when there's already a lot of money that's been appropriated, it feels like extortion. It feels like we have to pay off the teachers' unions to get them to bless what we already know to be true, which is students can safely go back to the classroom. And unfortunately, a lot of well-to-do parents can send their kids to private schools, they can homeschool them, they can bring in tutors and the like. And it really is the most disadvantaged students who are suffering the most by this. So this is frankly outrageous. Not only the extortion associated with it, but, 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 the, uh, but the fallout uh, for these uh, students who uh, are falling farther and farther behind and the discrimination really um, that naturally occurs when poor people can't access the same resources and the same education that well-to-do people can.